Hey guys, Andy Goblin from Andy Goblin Fishing. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we will talk everything crappie and everything bass fishing. We give you a lot of tips and tricks that's helped me catch fish for the past 40 years. And we'll also throw in a little bit of uh, tournament coverage. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I rig a rod for catching suspended fish on a highland reservoir in clear water where the fish are schooled somewhere between 15 and 25 foot. I'm going to show you the rod, the line, and how I tie my baits on for this presentation. That's right, I said baits because at this time I'm going to tie on two jigs. So let's get started. First of all, I'm fishing a 8 foot, this is an 8 foot Ozark rod, spinning rod, spinning reel, 4 pound test line. I like the 4 pound test line in the clear water, plus it makes it sink a little bit faster. Uh, so the first thing I do is I get me a crappie magnet out. The color of the, the bait you should use just depends on the water clarity that you use. This here happens to be a blue and white one that I pulled out of the package here. Uh, this is a pink 16th ounce head. All right. With a blue and white crappie magnet. Okay. So I got it on there. The next thing I'm going to get is an 8th ounce head and another crappie magnet. I usually like to use two different colors. That way sometimes it'll... Yeah, you know, if they're biting one particular color, then you'll know, and that way you can switch to, uh, both jigs to the same color. We'll show you how I put this on. Let me get here a little closer to the camera. As you can see, I got an eighth ounce double cross jig head and a copy magnet. You just thread the magnet right through the middle, and you want it to come out right between the two legs, right at the split. Shove it all the way up on. And that way, as you can see, you get a little split in the in the, uh, in the tail. It seems to help it. Seems to help a little bit of action. Like I say, you can't hold this. You can see that bait quivering. You can't really hold it, <laughs> hold it steady. All right. When I tie this bait on, I usually tie my 16th ounce one on first. So you just take your line, run it through your eyelet, get you some line out here. There's about all oh, 18 inches to 24 inches. Now take your line, double it, run it through your fingers, and I like to run it back through, as you can see here, if you can see, I run it through three times. Of course, cinch it down, wet it. All right, now I have a loop knot here. So I have my bait that swings free on my 16th ounce one. The next thing I do is I get my 8th ounce one, go to my tie again here, which you can see I left out you know, quite a bit of room here. I like to leave anywhere between 15 to 20 inches in between my baits. So same thing here. Pull it through. Give yourself a little bit of line here. Yeah, double my line right back through one two three cinch it down of course wet it always want to wet your line pull it tight and then of course you want to Cut your tag end off. 
this is a very simple rig to do and when you're fishing in that open water uh, well I got them a little bit too close there but you'll get this you can see about what you're looking at uh, yeah there's a good 12 13 inches in between there maybe 14 but what you're looking to do is you know there's no sense in, in not having two jigs on you're in open water you're generally in 35 to 40 foot of water your crappie are generally suspended anywhere between 15 and 25 foot so there's no need not to have two baits on a lot of times you'll double up you'll see one will be chasing the other one or two will be chasing your jigs there on the live scope whenever you're you're falling and one will hit one and one will hit the other but this is a perfect perfect system for a highland reservoir deep clear water especially when they're in open water not around any structure just around bait until next time guys thank you very much good fishing